this video I will add vectors a, b, and c algebraically. To start, we're going to sketch each vector and break them down to their x and y components. So vector a is 37 degrees south of east, so something like this. The 37 degrees is measured from the east. And so if I draw in the x and y components of vector a, That would be the x component, and that would be the y component. Notice I draw it so that my components and the actual vector itself enclose that angle. For vector b, I want to go 70 degrees east of south. So if this is my south line, I have to go 70 degrees east of that. So this in here is the 70 degrees. So my x component would actually be on this side and my y component over here. Vector C is 200 meters west, and so it can't really be broken down to components because it only points in the negative x direction. Remember we're considering north to be the positive y direction, and we're considering east to be the positive x direction. Now I'm ready to break these vectors into their components. So to get the x component of vector a, I see that x is adjacent to the angle. So I'll use cosine theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So the cosine of 37 degrees is equal to that x component over 450 meters. And so the x component of that vector is 359 meters. To get the y component, which is opposite the angle, I'll use sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. So sine 37 degrees is equal to that y component over 450 meters, and so the y component is 271 meters. But I want to indicate that it's downward, and downward is in the negative y direction, so let's make that answer negative. For vector b, notice the x component is opposite the angle, so I'll write sine theta equals opposite over adjacent. So sine of 70 degrees is equal to the x component over 500 meters, and the x component of vector b is 470 meters. To get the y component, which is adjacent to the angle, I'll use cosine theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Cosine 70 degrees is equal to y over 500 meters. And so the y component is 171 meters, but again, it's in the negative y direction. So I'll insert a negative sign there. For vector c, it does not point up or down. So the y component is 0 meters. It completely points to the west or to the left in the negative x direction. So negative 200 meters. No trigonometry needed there. Step two is to add up the x and y components. All of the x components, 359 plus 470 minus 200, gives me 629 meters. For the y components, negative 271 meters minus 171 meters gives me negative 442 meters. So now I can sketch my resultant vector. I know that it goes 629 meters to the right. and that it goes down 442 meters. And so my goal is to determine this resultant here. So I'll have to find its magnitude and its direction, which will require me to find this angle. To get the magnitude of this resultant, I'll use the Pythagorean theorem. r squared equals x squared plus y squared r squared equals 629 meters squared plus 442 meters squared and the magnitude of that resultant comes out to be 769 meters. To get this angle I'm going to use the opposite side and the adjacent side so I'll use tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. Tan theta equals 442 meters over 629 meters 
When you type this into your calculator, you'll type 442 divided by 629, and then take the inverse tangent to get theta alone, and you should get 35.1 degrees. If you did this and you don't get the angle, make sure that you're in degrees and not in radians. Your final step is to write this resultant, which I want to write to two significant figures because my angles in the problem were given as two significant figures. So the resultant is 770 meters at an angle of 35 degrees. And we can see from this picture that we measured south of the east line.